Hi, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Morse uh, set analysis. What I've done is I've added four new uh, text objects. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the, the first one called Total Profit. Um, I've commented out the code at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll just zoom in and try and show you. What I've done is basically I've put a 1 in squiggly brackets before profit. And basically what that does is that's set analysis. And basically you're saying you want total profit regardless um, of any selections. So I'll just zoom out that and get rid of the comment. Click OK. So you can see we've total profit. If I change and select like six months of information, the total profit hasn't changed. So the set analysis with the one and the squiggly brackets basically keep, locks that field down to the total profit. If we go into the next one, which is previous selection, basically zoom in instead of the one in the squiggly brackets put a dollar sign before the one and basically what that does is that set analysis and it's saying the previous selection so for example um, we click on September the previous selection was six months so it's 2.6 million if we click June it's going to give you the previous selection, which was September, which was 428,000. So what we do is we go into the, the next one, which is current selection. And zoom into this. And in this one, instead of a one or a dollar one, just put dollar in the squiggly brackets. Um, just uncomment that. Click OK. You can see now, if I choose September, previous selection for June's number is here and this is the September number so if I choose June again they'll switch so the previous selection was September and current selection is June um, and the last one is the profit excluding a current selections which is basically one minus dollar which gives you everything excluding your selection so for example if we just uncomment that and click OK. Excluding current selection, which is uh, June of 2000, 2010 and 2011, the uh, profit excluding those two months and those two years is 4896. If we clear that, it, it goes to zero. So if I choose 2011, you can see excluding the current selection, as in all of the profit for 2010, this is that should match with profit 2010 up here and you can see they do match so it's just using more set analysis um, just to give you the headline numbers and um, it's actually these these four examples I've given are probably simpler than the, the previous ones like for example this is set analysis and you're saying sum of the profit when the year is 2010 and um, that's pretty much it I hope that helps and I'll see you next video